Hello everyone, Shamanzin here, and today I'm showing you a tool similar to the Microsoft Security Baseline Analyzer, um, but for Ubuntu. So basically, this tool does all the great things that the Microsoft Baseline Security Analyzer does, uh, if you see my video previous for Windows, uh, with a uh, hell of a lot more features and uh, with its own security twist. So basically, going back real quick about the um, Microsoft Baseline uh, Security Analyzer, that tool will check things such as password length uh, for your accounts. It'll check to make sure you have all the updates. It'll check to make sure that there are certain hardening uh, settings that have been put in place. It won't scan for viruses. It won't do uh, scan for other network threats, uh, stuff like that. Well, this tool, which is called Tiger, Tiger will go ahead and scan um, all the good things like that. We'll make sure that uh, your your file permissions are set correctly. It'll check your user accounts to make sure that they're set up correctly. Check for any dormant accounts, dormant services. Um, it'll also check for root kits. It'll check for viruses. It'll check. Uh, everything like that and on top of all that it's an IDS as well intrusion detection system which is really cool especially for a simple tool it's around 30 megabits uh, sorry megabytes so it takes up next to nothing it's roughly around the same uh, size as the Microsoft baseline security analyzer it's a uh, command line based tool runs on all Debian versions uh, that I know of right now uh, runs on uh, Debian itself, Ubuntu, uh, Mint. It runs on Cinnamon as well. Um, so that's that's all great. So I'll show you how to install it, and then we'll run it. So I have two windows up here, and I'll show you why uh, shortly. So in one terminal, um, what we'll do is go ahead and install Tiger. So sudo apt-get install Tiger. And we'll just go ahead and install it real time. Okay, so now this also installs Tripwire which uh, Tripwire is part of the package install. So we'll have to create a site key passphrase. So say yes, okay. And then say yes again. Okay. So it'll ask you if you wanna keep the uh, existing Tripwire configuration and where you wanna save it. So here it's saying it'll save in etc tripwire twcfg.txt say so yes it defaults is good okay and yes we want to rebuild the policy file for tripwire so say yes we'll go ahead now we'll be installing two keys here our site key and our local key okay so we'll go ahead and put in a secure password for Tripwire. Okay. And now we'll also have to get our local key. Okay. Also, we want another secure local key. And now this will go ahead and generate our encryption keys. Okay, so once you install Tripwire, hit OK. And now Tiger finishes installing. Okay, so to run Tiger, okay, we'll just go ahead and sudo Tiger. And then now, like I said, it's going ahead checking your password, 
uh, files, your group files, user accounts, our hosts, your mail aliases, what services you have, permissions and ownerships, it's checking for root kits and performing system specific checks. Now in the meantime, what we can do is check the log file. So I just log in as super user. So, um, Tiger will put its uh, its log files in the log directory, so var slash log, and then it'll go into the Tiger directory. Okay, and once you're in the Tiger directory, um, just list what files are here. So so far, it's showing uh, security uh, security dot report. So you can do less security report. Okay, actually, what we'll do is tail and then dot uh, tech F. So we'll follow the file. Okay, so now you can see in real time uh, what it's writing to the log file. So now uh, it's already raised a couple of warnings. This is a f pretty much fresh install, so I expect to see it have uh, lots of. Um, uh, I like this. It probably start having a lot of warnings. So the report's done on this side, okay, and the scan is done. So let's look. So now some of these errors I'm I'm not quite liking actually, um, because I do notice. For instance, uh, the UFW for so the uncomplicated firewall user rules. I, I'm not sure why it says it does not belong to any package. So some of, there's a couple of things here that are um, questionable uh, for warnings. Okay. So let's come here. So we do see that uh, yeah, there is a couple of uh, there's a couple of um, uh, root uh, device permissions okay but again there's a couple of things here for instance uh, Ron it says the device CPU resides in a device directory uh, as far as I know I've never had I've never seen a security issue with that but um, I'm working on seeing what's going on in the back end okay. so uh, it'll check to make sure of course that we're logging something perfect Okay. Uh, this is definitely an issue here so there's no U mask definition for the dash and bash shell okay uh, that's something I'll cover in an, uh, in a video soon okay so now we're checking for listening processes okay so we see here that uh, you'll see that <coughs> for instance SSH listening on every interface uh, in the in the configuration, if I had multiple NICs on this machine, that'd be a problem. Uh, you always want to have binding to one NIC. However, um, I only have one NIC, so there's no sense on specifying one NIC to bind on because I it can really only go to one spot. Uh, same as uh, same as the rest of these, they're all gonna listen on. On uh, different on all the interface because there's only one interface, so you know you don't really need to bother to set it. Okay. So then we'll come here. So uh, uh, some SSH uh, hardening needs to be done. So there's no FTP user file. Well, there's no FTP on uh, there's no FTP on this server. So uh, that'd be that would be a problem if I had FTP uh, on this. Of course, you still want to have an FTP user file uh, just to show some failed uh, sorry some 
permitted FTP users and then the denied ones, make sure root, nobody, system, www, data, those guys are, are included in there. So then we got some symbolic links issues. Okay. And uh, that's about it. So no major issues here. Uh, things that you always look out for, things sort of like, you know, if, if it comes up, <clears throat> you know, your OS release is old, right? Remember that uh, the primary uh, primary way to keep on top of security is to make sure you have the latest OSs with the latest patches um, and stuff like that. So uh, that's Tiger for you. Uh, it's pretty pretty cool piece of software. It checks checks against you know the the most basics of um, of security hardening tools it's not of course it's not a very comprehensive tool but uh it's it's uh pretty much like the baseline security analyzer that uh, our windows counterparts have so i hope you find this video informative and i hope you can use this tool in uh your daily needs if uh you have any comments or questions or uh suggestions about any one of my videos please leave them in the comment section below and as always, please visit my website, www.seanmancini.com. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good night.